Good morning to one and all. Is it audible? Hello? Anyone, can you please reply? Is it audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So, we have finished the measurement of resistance inductance. Next, we'll go for the measurement of capacitance here now. So, actually, two bridges we are going to discuss for the measurement of capacitance. One is the DSOT bridge, other one is sharing bridge. The sharing bridge already we have discussed in the practical. Okay, we have done the practical also. So, one more method that is called DSOT bridge is that it is also there in the virtual levels. So, main aim of this bridge. Actually, it is also advanced form of the Wilson bridge only. Advanced form of Wilson bridge only. But the measurement of capacitance we are going to use here now instead of. So, due to the internet connection, it was disconnected. Just a minute, I will say once again. Okay, now it's visible. Is it visible? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, same like the Whitson Bridge, the DSOT has derived one circuit that consists of two resistances and two capacitance here. Now, two non-inductive resistances they have considered. And this bridge they have designed for purely to measure the capacitance, unknown capacitance measurement here. It is also same like the structure is same like Whitson bridge only. Yes. The structure is same like a Whitson bridge only. R1, R2, R3, R4. Like that only it is there here. No? But instead of only pure resistances we are our aim is to measure the capacitance they have connected capacitor c1 and capacitor c2 here they have connected capacitor c1 and capacitor c2 they have connected so based on that here the capacitor c1 and r c2 r3 and r4 they are connected in the form of bridge here they have formed a bridge in between C1 and R3 and in between C2 and R4, we have connected one detector that is sensitive element we are going to call here. Now, if the bridge is unbalanced, then it is going to detect some voltage or current here. Some current it is going to detect here now. So, at balanced condition, the current flowing through this detector will be zero. On that condition, we have to measure the unknown value of capacitance here. This is the C1 is unknown value of unknown capacitance. C2 is the standard capacitance. R3 and R4, these two resistances we are using, that is called non-inductive resistances. We are going to call that. So C1 is unknown capacitance. C2 is standard capacitor. And R3, R4 are the non-inductive resistances we are going to use here. So the voltage drop across this capacitor C1 we are going to call that one as E1 here. We are going to call this one as E1. E1 equal to what we can write? We can write I1 into XC1. I1 into XC1, we can write like this. E1 equal to, yes. XC equal to one by omega C. We know the formula already. X equal to, 1 by omega c x equal to 1 by omega c yes or no is it audible try to give the reply yes sir okay so e1 equal to i x e1 similarly e2 equal to sorry here i instead of i i1 you consider i1 x e1 here e2 equal to i2 x c2 x c2 x c2 here capacitor c2 is there so x c2 we are using here now so here e3 equal to e3 equal to 
what you can write here at balanced condition here i1 is flowing so same current will flow here now so we can consider this one as i1 r3 e3 equal to i1 r3 and e4 equal to e4 equal to what formula can anyone tell which current we have to use according to ohm's law v equal to what rule number 29 v equal to what rule number 29 aniket nakate yes sir v equal to what according to ohms law what is the formula v is equal to ir v is equal to ir aap annotated kyun use kiye beech mein use kiya tha ke nahi ha kiya tha sir screenshot lena tha screenshot lene ke liye I'll get the report here. Who has done it? anything? You have done means I will get the report here now. Okay, ठीक है. So according to Ohm's law, V equal to I R. So I into R here now. Which current is flowing in the R four? R four में कौन सा current flow रहे? नकाते. I am asking to you only. Row number twenty nine. Repeat again, sir. Which current is flowing through R four? R four resistance. Yeah. R four resistance. Me, how much current flow is there? I two. I two here now. So the voltage drop across R four is E four. E four equal to I two R four. We can write here. So at branch A B the voltage drop is E one. At branch A D that is voltage drop is E two. At branch three that is called A B C. E three here now and branch four that is called DC that is called E four we are going to call. Then the main main power supply is connected to here now. E here now. E we are going to consider. Next what we will do? We have to draw the phasor diagram here now. Which current is flowing here? I one. Okay, how many currents are there? I one is flowing here and I two is flowing here. I one and I two are flowing here. So I will consider the unknown uh, resistor uh, capacitance. Kithru, how much current flow is I one here now? I will consider here I one the current. I will consider as a reference here now. I will take as current here now. Reference here now. I one and I two. I will consider here now. I one or I two. Okay. So try to give the reply here now. So I one will flow through the capacitance here now. So voltage drop across capacitor that is called E one, which will be lagging to the I one or leads to the I one. The voltage drop across the capacitor that is called E one here. Now E one leads the old E one leads the current I one or lags the current I one. Can anyone tell me which load it is? Capacitive load. Capacitive load. Hai? रिप्ले देना है क्या नहीं देना है आप लोगों को यस सर यस सर नहीं देना है बोल दो स्किप करके मैं डायरेक्ट इक्वेशन दिखाता हूं आपको व्हिच लोड इट इज कैपेसिटिव कैपेसिटिव लोड फॉर द कैपेसिटिव लोड करंट लीड्स द वोल्टेज और वोल्टेज लीड्स द वोल्टेज सॉरी करंट करंट लीड्स द वोल्टेज करंट लीड्स द वोल्टेज सो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर C1 इज E1 वी आर गोइंग टू कंसीडर ऑलरेडी वी हैव टेकन करंट एज अ रेफरेंस then e1 lags the current or leads the current idhar ek confusion ho raha hai na aapko for the capacitive load current leads the voltage for the current leads v r r v leads i sorry v lags i here now voltage lags i here both are same only voltage lags current or current leads voltage here now both are same only here now so you are considering taking as reference of current here now so why considering the current voltage drop across this one it lags the current or leads the current voltage lags the current or leads the current
Reply, please. Here only I have written here now. Voltage lags the current or not? For the capacity load, voltage lags the current. So lags is nothing but we have to take here now. The downside we have to take here. Lags is nothing but we have to take downside here. So 90 degree, it is going to lag. That is called, we can tell that one, that is called E1 here now. Here, the current I1 is flowing here. That is called E1. Voltage drop across C1 is E1 here now. Here also, uh, other than uh, other than capacitor, is there anything resistance, inductance is there here? At the second branch? No. No. Then we can write E1 equal to E2. Yes? Yes, sir. E1 equal to E2. Already E1 formula is Ixc1. Ixc1 is nothing but I1 divided by omega C1. We can write here now. Xc is equal to omega C. Here Xc1 is there. Omega C1 you can write here. Xc2 is there. Omega C2 you can write here. So this is the phasor diagram with respect to the voltage and current we have drawn here. I1, I2. Here. Next, same the I1 current will flow through this R3. Yes? Yes, sir. At balance condition, I1 will flow through the R3 here. So voltage drop across R3 is nothing but E3. E3 is nothing but I1, R1 here. So E3 lags the current I1 or leads the current. Which load is there here? Resistive. For the resistive load, current lags the voltage or voltage lags the current? For the resistive load, what is the condition? Leading, lagging, or in phase? In phase. In phase here, no. So for the resistive load, there is no phase angle at all here, no. We can write here, no. That is called E1, sorry, E3 and equal to E4 here. Why I am writing E4 here? Here also, pure resistance is there. Here also, pure resistance is there. Yes, sir. So here E1 equal to E2. Then here E3 equal to E4, we can write here now. So both are in phase here now. The current I1 and E3 are in phase. Current I2 and E4 are in phase here now. So this is the for the resistive load. This is for the capacity load. So the total circuit, it consists of resistive and in capacity load now, RC circuit. You can say that one. The total circuit you consider here now. Here capacitance is there, here resistance is there. Capacitance, resistance. So the total circuit, the load of the total circuit is cap resistive capacitive load is there? Yes. yes sir. So resistive load, it is in phase. Capacitive load, it will lag here now. For that reason, what you will do? In between, we are going to take some angle here now. That is nothing but total voltage E we are going to call it. Total voltage E, which lags the current I1, I2 by an angle of 5. We can write here now. By an angle of 5 here now. By an angle of phi, we can write here. I will not say that is exactly 90. Whatever it may be, based on the angle, we are going to, because combination of resistance and capacitance, we are using. So this is the phasor diagram here now. Same phasor diagram they have taken here now. Here I1, I2, they have written here now. So E1 equal to, E4 equal to, E3 equal to, I1, R3, E4 equal to, I2, R4. Here E1 equal to, E2, they have written. E1 equal to I1 omega C1 and E2 equal to I2 omega C2 here. So this is the circuit analysis and phasor diagram preparation here. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Which doubt I? Up to here. Any doubts? No, sir. No. So I will clear this all the things. Then we'll go for the next, the to find the balance equation here now, to find the balance equation. So here only I will write the balance equation. Just see here now. Here, I know already for the AC circuit, I know the formula Z1, Z4 equal to, Z1, Z4 equal to what? Z2, Z3, yes? This formula we know for the balanced condition of the 
AC equation, AC circuit. Yes or no? Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. Yes? हक्कल है क्या तुम लोगों को इतना बोलने के बाद भी हाँ बोलने के लिए नहीं हो रहा है आई एम नॉट एस्किंग द फार्मूला आई एम राइटिंग द फार्मूला यू आर नॉट से रोल नंबर सिक्स रोल नंबर नाइन रोल नंबर इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फिफ्टीन सो रहे क्या अभी भी रोल नंबर थर्टी थर्टी थ्री थर्टी सिक्स इतना लोग है आप लोग At balanced condition, Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. Is it correct the formula? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then what do you mean by Z1? Can anyone tell? Z1 equal to what? This term we are going to consider as Z1 here now. This term we are going to consider as Z2, and this term we are going to consider as Z3, and this term we are going to consider as Z4 here. Rule number nine. Are you present, Mahek Patil? Are you yes, there? Sir. Yes, Ma. sir. Tell me the formula of Z1 equal to. Only capacitive load is there, so we can write one by J omega C1. Z1 equal to one by J omega C1. We can write. Yes. Z1 equal to only capacitive load is there. There is no resistive part here, no. So Z1 equal to one by J omega C1 and Z2 equal to similarly. One upon J omega C1. One upon J omega C2. J omega. Oh, what is that? Next, Z3 equal to R3. Z3 equal to R3. Very good. Z3 equal to R3. Z4 equal to R4. R4. Z4. R4. Now we have to substitute this Z1, Z2, Z3, and Z4 in the equation number one here. So Z1 is one by J omega C1. I will substitute here. Z1 equal to one by J omega C1. Just a minute. So some people they are joined now because of their Java training. One by J omega C1. One by J omega C1. Z4 equal to R4. R4. R4 into R4 equal to Z2 equal to one by J omega. J omega C two C two J omega C two into R three R three here now. So can I can cancel here J omega J omega get cancelled here? Both are same in the LHS and RHS. Yes. Sir. Yes. So here this equation can I write like this? Here I will send this C one into here C one R three equal to C one R three equal to C two R four. Is it correct? Yes sir. Yes sir. C one R three equal to C two C two I will send into here it will C two R four C one I will send into here C one R three here now from this equation which is the unknown capacitance here? The unknown capacitance is C one R C two. The unknown capacitance is C one. We have used here now C one equal to R four by R three into C two into C two. We can write and for suppose if I have consider C two as a unknown resistance, then C two equal to R three by R four into C one. We can write like this. Yes. yes sir. Yes, sir. This is the simplest form of the equation here. Now, from this one, we can measure the capacitance very easily here. The same thing 
we have derived here now and the balanced condition at the balanced condition the equation is games here so c1 is the capacitor whose capacitance is to be measured c2 is a standard capacitor r3 r4 are non inductive resistances at a balanced condition that is z1 z1 equal to 1 by j omega c1 and z4 equal to r4 z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 or no z2 equal to 1 by j omega c2 and z3 equal to r3 here no j omega j omega gets cancelled here no c1 into r3 c2 into r4 by doing this one we can get the formula for the unknown capacitance that is called c1 equal to c2 into r4 by r3 c1 equal to c2 into r4 by r3 here no the balance can be obtained by varying the either r3 r4 ye dono vary karke humne balance kar sakte the system the bridge can be balanced by varying these two values we can balance that one the advantage of this bridge is its simplicity and the disadvantage is actually uh, some uh, dielectric will be stored loss will be there in the capacitance so that will harmful it will not bring the bridge into easily it will not bridge the bring the bridge into balanced condition so that disadvantage we are going to correct in the third one that is called last bridge that is called sharing bridge we are going to call that is called which bridge it is sharing bridge we are going to call here now this is the sharing bridge okay so you compare with d sort of bridge and this bridge here is there any difference here is there any difference yes sir what is the difference here yes c4 and r4 connected in parallel c very good c4 and r4 both were connected in parallel both are connected in parallel here now and we have added one small unknown resistance here that is called r1 here now this unknown capacitance is connected in series with one resistance that is called r1 so because of this what will happen the z1 z2 z3 formula will changes first of all first of all this r1 we have added means the z z1 formula will change it now yes sir. yes sir. because of this one z1 formula is changed the z2 is same z3 is same but we have connected here the r4 is connected with c4 in parallel here now so here the total impedance will changes here now yes sir so depending on this one whatever the dissipation or uh, dissipation dielectric uh, loss is there in the capacitance to correct that one the sharing has added one extra capacitance that is variable capacitor here now by varying this one also we can bridge bring the bridge into balanced condition here now for that reason they have added here they have added here here i will take the i1 as a reference here now the i1 i will consider as a reference here now and r1 here small current will flow through here that is i1 voltage drop across this one will be very small resistance we have added here now so i1 into r1 it is which is in phase with i1 only voltage drop across this r1 is is in phase here now we can consider and the voltage drop across capacitor c2 and this i uh, c1 and c2 will be same here now so again we will consider as here it is very small resistance e1 equal to e2 equal to i2 divided by omega c2 or i1 divided by omega c1 here now which is here the i1 omega c1 we will take here now this current i will take the anode you can understand that one here now this is which current it is this one i1 we are using this is i1 current yes i1 yes. i know yes sir so the voltage drop across capacitance should lags the i1 by 90 degree so i1 by omega c1 should lags the i1 by 90 degree here now here i1 we have used the i1 by omega c1 we are going to consider here now 
so this is the angle is 90 degrees there here yes sir yes sir 90 degree next so i1 and i2 both are in not in phase because here some resistance is there and here one more capacitance they have added here no so because of this capacitance this capacitance the current i2 will be more leading here no so for that reason after some angle they have considered here i2 here i2 we have considered here so here we have considered i2 means the voltage drop across this c2 should lags the i2 by 90 degree here no so either aage gaye to a bhi thoda aage lena hai humko so this e2 it is not e1 is e2 equal to c here from this angle to this angle to this angle 90 degree is there yes this yes, angle sir. to this angle 90 degree is there or not yes sir that yes, is sir. 90 degree here now so that is called e2 equal to i2 omega c2 we have considered so one more thing next the current i2 will come here up to here the current i2 will come here but after that here two currents we are going to splitting here now that is called current flowing through the resistance ir current flowing through the capacitor that is called ic we are going to call here so the i2 is already capacitance here now so here the i1 is there this current is meeting at i1 here i2 is there so ic which will leads the current i1 by 90 degree here see here the i1 is here and this is ic is there it is there 90 degree again yes yes or no yes sir so ir r4 also we can consider that one here no ir r4 is there here this current ko a this ic current will leads 90 degree here no that is we have considered here voltage drop across r3 r4 will leads this capacitance here no we are going to consider here no ic here no. so based on that it is a combination of resistance capacitance bridge so the currents are leading here no voltage will lags here no by an angle some angle we have considered here that is called total voltage or supply voltage lags the current i1 i2 and ic here current i1 i2 ic it is going to lags here now that one we have written that is called e here that is called e here so the angle difference between i1 and i2 that is voltage drop across this e1 and e2 is delta we have considered here now this delta we have some angle difference is there so this is the phasor diagram representation we are going to call that one phasor diagram representation so once the phasor diagram representation is over next where we have to go we have to prove that z1 z4 equal to z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 here now based on that we have to find this is z1 this is z2 Z three and this one is Z four. Z one, Z two, Z three, Z four. Can you read the equation, all of you? This is the last bridge of the third unit. This is the last bridge of the third unit. Anyone of you people, you write all the equations for the Z one, Z four, Z one, Z two, Z three, Z four. I will ask randomly. You have to tell the answer. Okay. So meanwhile, I will take this diagram into next slide also. i think it is not there the next slide yes okay is it visible screen is visible yes sir 
See here. Here, the capacitance C1 we are going to consider as unknown capacitance here. No? C1 is capacitor whose capacitance is to be determined here. No? We have to determine the capacitance value of this C1 here. No? And R1 is a series capacitance that is which is presenting a loss in the capacitor. Whatever the dielectric loss is there, it is going to, to represent this one. We are going to use the R1 here. And C2 is the standard capacitance. R3 is a non-inductive resistance and C4 here, we have used variable capacitor here now and R4 is non-inductive variable resistance we have used here. Variable resistance, which is parallel with the capacitance here. So this complete term, what we are going to consider, this one we are going to consider as Z1, this one we are going to consider as Z4 here now and this is Z3 and this is Z2 here. Z1, Z2, Z3 we have considered here. Based on this, we know the formula Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. Z2, Z3 equal to Z1, Z2, Z3 equal to Z3. So, what do you mean by Z1 here now from this one? R1 plus 1 upon Z2. 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 R1 plus R1 plus 1 upon J omega C1. So here we have written Z1 formula here now. R1 plus 1 by J omega C1. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next, what about the R4 formula? Sorry, Z4 formula. R4 divided by 1 plus J omega R4 C4. Already we have derived this one, but how we have to consider this one? R4 divided by J omega C4 divided by R4 plus yes, 1 yes, yes. upon very J very omega C4. This one, we have derived the equation in the Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. Same, right? Yes. Sir. Same equations we have derived already. We can go through that and the direct answer we are going to get that is called R4 divided by 1 by J omega C4 R4. This is the XC4 and R4 both are in parallel here. No? So R4 into 1 by J omega C4 divided by R4 plus 1 by J omega C4 by taking the LCM of that one, J omega C4, J omega C4 gets cancelled over there. And the left term is R4 plus 1 by 1 plus J omega C4 into R4. We are going to get this. Term here. Okay. Next, C2 equal to, sorry, Z2 equal to? 1 upon, one J, upon, omega C2. One upon J omega C2 because it is a standard capacitance is there. There is no combination of resistance and all the things here now. And next Z3 equal to? R3. R3. R3 here no. Only resistance is there. Z3 equal to R3. So from this equation, we have return that is Z1 equal to Z1, Z4 here now. Z1 is R1 plus J omega C1. Z4 equal to R4 plus 1 plus J omega C4 R4 equal to 1 by J omega C2 into R3. Okay. Next, what I will do here, the instead of multiplying this whole term, I will send this term into RH side. I will send this term into this side here. Now it will multiply into R3 term. It is going to multiply here. So by sending this term and this R4, I will keep as it is here. Now, so R1 plus J omega C1, I will keep as it is. R4 also I have to keep as it is. The denominator term of the LHS I will send into RHS side means it will become numerator into multiplication of old equation here. So R3 divided by J omega C I have written as it is into 1 plus J omega C4 R4 I have written here. We can write like this. Next what we have to do? We have to multiply this one here. Now R3 divided by J omega C T. C2 next R3 J omega C4 R3 R4 divided by J omega C2 J omega J omega gets cancelled. I will write in the next slide. I will take that. Okay, here. So R1 R4 the one by J when I will take into into J I have considered means what will happen that is plus 1 by j equal to minus j we can write plus j 1 by j equal to minus j yes sir in the mathematic yes
just America. Okay, I'll do that one. So R1, R4 here, no? Here, see here. This R1 into R4, we can multiply. Same yes. equation, just a minute. I, I will take this equation also over there. Then uh, it will be easy for explanation. So now you see here now. Here R1 is there. R1 into R4, small R1 into R4. I have written as it is same here now. Small R1 into R4. See, 1 by J is there. That one I have written minus J here now. Minus J into R4 divided by omega C1. You can write like this. 1 by J term I have written into minus J divided by omega C1 into R4, this one. So minus J R4 divided by omega C1. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay, equal to, equal to, see here, R3, here 1 into 1 we have to do, here also 1 by J is there, I will consider minus J into R3 divided by omega C2 into 1 here now, so that is called R3 divided by omega C2 only, same thing we have written here now, so plus, plus, here 1 by J into J, J omega, J omega gets cancelled here now, multiplying this one, this term, Yes or no? In, no need to do the uh, 1 by j and all the things. Here j omega is there. Here also j omega is there. When we will multiply to particular term only. And that situation I am telling here now. So this term, before writing this term, how we can write here now? j omega, only that term I am telling here now. j omega c4 r4 r4 into, into r3 divided by j omega j omega c2 j omega c2 so this j omega this j omega gets cancelled yes this j omega this j omega get cancelled or not yes sir. so the left term is r3 here no r3 we have written r4 r4 c4 c4 divided by c2 here divided by c2 here. So this is the equation we got here now. Now what we have to do, equating the real and imaginary terms here now. Now we have to equate the real and imaginary terms. We have to equate here. So by equating here now, R1, R4, here this is the real term here now, equal to R3, R4, C4 by C2 here now. So the equation we are going to get by considering this one, what I will write here now, here only I will write R1, R4, R1, R4 equal to, equal to R2, sorry, R3, R4, C4 divided by C2, divided by C2. So this R4, R4 get cancelled here, no? Or you send the R4 into here, it will become numerator. R4 divided by R4, it get cancelled? Yes. So the left term R1 equal to R3, C4 divided by c2 here now same thing we have written here now r1 equal to r3 c4 divided by c2 here now this is c2 actually a visible nahi tha, uske liye ek add kiya hota. okay this one here now so next you consider the imaginary term here now here the imaginary term by considering the imaginary term here minus j r4 divided by omega c1 omega c1 equal to equal to minus j r3 divided by omega c2 this is the one imaginary term this is minus imaginary term here no so minus j minus j gets cancelled here no yes 
minus j minus gets cancelled and uh, omega omega get cancelled here yes sir so we can write this one c4 into r3 c2 into r4 so we can write here now c1 r3 c1 r3 equal to equal to c2 r4 here now c2 r4 which is the unknown resistance unknown capacitance here c1 c1 is the unknown capacitance so c1 equal to c1 equal to c2 r4 divided by r3 you can write like this c2 into r4 divided by r3 here we have written here we have written this one here so two independent balance equations are obtained if c4 and r4 are chosen as variable here the c4 is variable and r4 is variable here c4 is variable here r4 is variable so we can to reduce the dielectric strength or loss we are going to use the dissipation factor that is called d1 equal to tan delta we are going to call uh, like a whatever the quality factor is there same like in the capacitance we are going to tell, tell as dissipation factor here now omega c1 r1 here now tan delta equal to omega c1 r1 we are going to use so c1 formula already we have derived here c1 formula is not this one yes c1 is already derived here so c1 equal to you substitute omega c1 equal to r4 divided by r3 into c2 and r1 we have consider c4 by c2 into r3 c4 by c2 into r3 here now so c here now here c2 is there here c2 is there get cancelled i will write here this c2 c2 gets cancelled here now here r3 is there here r3 gets cancelled the left term is omega c4 r4 here now so these two are the variable c4 is also variable r4 is also variable from the circuit yes c4 and r4 both are variable only na yes sir so therefore the values of capacitance c1 and its dissipation factors are obtained from the value of bridge elements at balanced condition here at balanced condition also we are going to vary sorry that one it is dissipation factor are obtained here now so the unknown capacitance we can measure as well as we are going to measure the resistance that is called r1 value which is used in the in series with the unknown capacitance here now so it completes the whole chapter 3 here now it completes the whole chapter 3 it is completed here now so it will finish it here only so now rule number 39 is joining see so i have to give the attendance or not i will not give rule number 39 rule number 39 unmute ajay shinde Shinde Ajay. Ajay Shinde. Speak out. So first assignment and second assignment, all of you have written? Yes, yes. So, so the third assignment, what do you have to do? How many questions you want to write? actually the majority of the third assignment is more so you write the assignment number 3 what i will give just a minute 20 mcq questions you have to write down mcq questions questions 20 numbers 20 numbers and uh, how many bridges are there maxwell kelvin double bridge and uh, which is next one not sweetson kelvin double bridge maxwell two bridges 
उसके बाद कौन सा कौन सा डिस्कशन किए मैक्सवेल के बाद शेयरिंग एंड इसके पहले एंड्रसन ब्रिज एंड वन मोर हियर नो सो टोटल एट ब्रिजेस आर देर सो लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन टेन लिख दो टेन टेन क्वेश्चन टेन नंबर ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन और एट क्वेश्चन सुन लियो राइट डाउन बेटर ऑप्शन सर फिर इसमें डिराइव करना है क्या डेरिवेशन डिराइव करने का जरूरत नहीं है बट वट एवर हाँ बैलेंस इक्वेशन का डेरिवेशन है ना टू क्वेश्चन यू टेक फ्रॉम द पोटेंशियोमीटर ओके सर Two questions you take the potentiometer and six questions in the bridges you have to consider. For the bridges you consider six questions, but the MCQ questions fifteen questions from the bridges and uh, five questions from the potentiometer like that you choose. So majority will be there for the bridges only. Five questions for the potentiometer and fifteen questions you have to write from the bridges. Okay. so it okay, completes sir. the third unit maybe tomorrow i may take the chapter test chapter 3 chapter test 3 maybe on tomorrow i may take so be ready all of you already ppt all the notes it is there in the teaching diary yeah, all the videos are already uploaded and if you have so much work now because you have to complete the lab write up also you have you only to given that one next thursday is the last date i have already created the link for that one you have to upload on thursday wednesday na i think and it is wednesday only so uh, so maybe maybe i am telling that one if it is possible tomorrow i will take the chapter test 3 be ready for that one mcq type questions will be there 20 questions 20 marks so your chapter test for all the students it is compulsory because your term work marks will be depends on chapter test attendance only remember ch chapter test attendance and lab write up lab term work will be depends on lab write up these three things are very important for isc isc is already for you people only it is going to help the another uh, 30 marks is different for that one so that is different part term work is there for theory practical so for the practical write up part and practical attendance is important for the theory term work it is completely depends on the assignment chapter test and your class attendance if you want more marks you can check that one you have to attend that one so already isc one is displayed soon you are going to get the re isc notifications we are not going to force anybody to give the isc re isc if you want to improve your marks then you can attend that one If you okay, want to improve sir. your marks, means you can attend. If you come, I have, oh, my hour, one more day, sir. That means soon you will get that one. The Kadke sir will put the notice soon. So who all are absent for the ISC one? Your academic loss happened means you are responsible for that one. We are not going to bother about that. Who is absent? Rule number thirty-nine. Ajay Shinde. Take care of that your attendance and all the things. Okay, so we'll stop here only, and we'll continue in the next class. Rule number thirty-nine. I am not going to give the attendance. Sir. You joined only for two minutes before the class. Thirty-nine. I am not giving the attendance for you today. अभी ज्वाइन किया स्टॉप हियर ओनली एंड विल कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट